So, I've never played Path of Exile before. In terms of top-down hack-and-slash ARPGs, I've only ever played Diablo, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and recently, Diablo 4. For those who don't know, Path of Exile is a free online action RPG developed by the good folk over at Grinding Gear Games in New Zealand. It was released in 2013, which in gaming years is a lifetime ago. They've actually just announced Path of Exile 2, and it looks fantastic. Now, if you play Diablo, you know it's impossible to read anything about the game online without people comparing it to Path of Exile. And that's why I'm here. I want to try it out for myself and make my own mind up about Path of Exile. So join me as I create my very first character. Character creation. I want to go with a ranged class, and I'm just having a quick look here. So this is the rogue, I'm guessing, although I'm seeing another rogue here. There's not much in terms of character creation. You like play a character who already has a bit of a backstory, which is fine. Uh, let's just write down our name. I've got my name. I need to pick a league. So what's a league? This is the default Path of Exile league. These challenge leagues are the ideal place to play Path of Exile in a fresh economy. Okay, I'll try that. I wouldn't want to play the Eternal Realm. I'd want to play the Season. So let's go with this one. Okay, so Castaway, I'm guessing. I like a Castaway. Okay, I got my bow. The graphics are pretty good considering this game came out in 2013. Oh, here we go. First mob. Okay, straight away, I've got something here. Burning arrow. It fires a burning arrow that deals fire damage and has a chance to ignite. Okay, I've got this nifty tutorial. That's kind of cool. So, all right, slot. So this is a slot thing. It's giving me an actual ability that I can use. That's kind of cool. So that means that there's no talent tree skill, I guess. It's just percentages. Oh my God, I don't know. Okay, let's try it out. So it is using my mana when I'm doing that, but it's doing heavy damage. The time to kill is pretty long so far, but it's fine. Maybe it's just because I'm level one. I'm sure it goes down. Level one, you always, it takes time to do anything. Momentum support. Okay, I've got a new gem that I can put in my weapon. And this one, gain one momentum when you use a supported skill. What is momentum? I don't know. So this is a, a support gem. It does not grant a bonus to your character but to skills and sockets connected to it. So that means that this socket here, this thing here has that. When you use that skill, you get that bonus. Okay. Oh, and I can see it up here. Momentum. Attack supported by momentum increase their attack speed. Oh, cool. So I'm going to shoot faster. Okay. Not even paying attention. There's a bus right here and he is not taking any damage. Oh, cool. Did he just took the sword out right from his chest? Okay, so far, I just kite these enemies. Oh, I like that, that I don't see the items straight away. Like, I'm sure it'll be useful later on. Maybe the item filtering will help with that. And I got the quest done. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. If I press Alt, there you go, I can see things. And I also have these nifty little icons that tell me, like, the gems that I can put in there. So you got red, green, and blue, it seems. And I get a robe. And the robe also has gems. I'm just not smart enough. I'm too much of a dum-dum. That's all right. And let's have a look at the quest. So it's semi-open world, it seems, where you got these open territories. Enemy at the gate. You have killed Hilllock, the zombie attacking the town, and leveled up. Open the passive skill screen and a passive skill point to upgrade your character. <laughs> what? What the frick? Okay, I start here, I guess. Okay, so these are my strength, intelligence, dexterity. Either I go into evasion or I go into accuracy and projectile damage. Where does this end? Okay, I'll go with projectile damage. I do like that it's just one. I was kind of afraid that the t I knew the talent system was quite involved, like the skills, but I'm happy to see it's not like one out of five, for example. I'm, go I'm gonna go with like a glass cannon build, I think. Absolute glass cannon. A waypoint, I know what those are. I've seen those before in Diablo. How is this guy level 14? These cosmetics are a bit out there. I don't know how I feel about them. Um, um, okay, so it seems like this is like a little village. Sorry, these cosmetics are kind of really pulling me out of this. What the hell is that? So split arrow, ice shot, frost blades. Oh, frost blades is different because it's not with a bow. Huh, I thought this was the bow class. Okay, I like that. I like the idea. Uh, AOE damage. I'm going to put that in there, see how that feels. Hey, another thing we could use in Diablo 4. This overlay map would be really nice. Oh, Letters of Exile. Okay, so it feels like we're exiled. We're all exiled, right? Okay, this makes sense. Entering the coast. Okay, so I have a few quests here. Travel to the Tidal Island. Find the medicine chest. That's the mercy mission. Wait a second. What is that? Do I get to level up the gems? No, because this one's 56 on... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not sure anymore what's going on. Hey, let me just put that back in. So now I'm doing Caustic Arrow. I want to try that. Oh, cool. Again, the animations are really top notch for something that came out in 2013. I'm sure they've upgraded all this, you know, as they went along. But this could be released today and like not shock me. I'd be like, yeah, cool. In the ARPG, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Oh, la 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 la. Whoa, Jesus. These guys are no joke. 
That's cool. Oh, nice little look on you right there. Nice. Click this button to level up your gem. Let's see what that's all about. I just leveled it up. So these are like the incremental things that happen. Crabby McCrab face. Dead. Dead. Yeah, the caustic arrow was a good choice. It doesn't use all my ammo. I can put it down. Okay, my momentum support gem just leveled up. Use the silver coin in town. Okay, picked up a silver coin. No idea what that is. So I only have one quest right now, which is get the medicine. Right, okay. So I need to go south, east, if I need to find this chest. It's seen okay, so these are the exits I'm seeing on the map there, top right. There we go. Exit. So this would be the tidal island, which is where I need to go to find the medicine chest. Really quick loading also, which is nice. Oh, Whoa, what's going on here? So this is what, like an elite, like in Diablo 4? So I don't see any effects on his name. Like in Diablo 4, you would know what, what his powers are. I don't really care, but Jesus, the damage. Slowly but surely. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Is this harder than Diablo? There. That's level three, medicine ch chest. Oh, I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, some boots, a robe. Yeah, all right, lion. Whoa, these guys are blue. They look like elites. Fire and okay, so there you go. We've got the actual. I think the guy, the other guy, was like a story guy, so we don't actually know what his powers were or whatever. But these guys, they have it written on them. Fire and ignite resistance. Good thing I got the caustic inventory management, but that's every game, right? Um, I do have a portal thing, so go back to Linus Watch, right? Travel to Linus Watch. All right, to the portal scroll. Take something and thanks for what you've done. Okay, what do I get? Medium life flask or quicksilver flask, which increases movement speed. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Oh, that's cool. It fills up. Okay, so you put it in there, it fills up automatically. Okay, I like that. When you hit an enemy with an arrow from a supported skill, summon a mirage, a mirage archer, which uses that skill. So what do I go for? Do I go for additional skills? additional damage i really like the idea of having a, a companion of some sort so that is good so i'm gonna put that in here right no requires level four okay i'm not quite there i guess i'll just sell this stuff and for that i will get a scroll fragment not gold i haven't actually seen gold there's no gold we're not doing gold here okay just do this just sell everything currency it's a weird currency that's what i'm getting at Halls of the Dead. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this is a season thing. What the hell? Am I dead? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, so I- okay, I die when I do that. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of lore here to delve into. I like that. That's cool. So this is all dying for a fight. Okay, let's try it out. No. No. Is this all lore? These guys only have lore. Okay, these are all warriors, I think. This is a PvP arena for the dead, which is sick. It's also confusing. So I'm going to go back to the land of the living. Let's see, there's a lot of um, loading screens, but I feel like based on the technology that we have today, they could probably take that out. Weathered carvings. So it seems to me that these um, books on the map are like war points. My mana is gone. No more mana. Okay, it's fine. That's a quick. Okay. The damage is no joke in this game. Absolutely no joke. Like it's, what are these creatures anyway? They look like dinosaurs. Oh yeah, that's level four, which is good. Cause that means I can put my gem. Projectile damage or dexterity? Projectile damage. Increase projectile damage or attack speed? I like attack speed. I found a strange glyph in the mud flaps. Okay. This is cool. What is this diamond shrine? No idea what that is. No, 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 no. I need to think about putting my gem in. I can even level up my caustic arrow and I'm soon gonna be able to do, to level up my momentum thing. But I don't need that right now because I'm gonna put this gem in here and see what happens. What if I put this in here? So I am still able to put the fire arrow if I want to, but I would lose all my support stuff. Oh, there it is, there's the summon. Oh, so the summon is on top of me. It's not really a summon. Okay, I just got a bonus diamond shrine. You always deal critical strikes. Yep, I know that one. Keep exploring the mud flaps. I'm seeing a lot of quests. Find the glyphs in the Roa nest. So I have found one. The wall seems to require three strangely shaped objects. So three glyphs. So I need to find the glyphs on the map, which I will do. And right now, level four, I'm a bit slow. Armor is scrap, what's that about? Armor is scrap, improves the quality of an armor. Right click the item and right, left click on anything. Okay, like this, cool. Quality plus five. Okay, the poison build, build seems to be working quite well. It's level five, that's cool. I get an elite scepter. I'm guessing I can't use that, can I? I can. Okay, boom, boom. It's kind of cool that even though I only am level five or whatever, shooting something that's quite specific to my build, if I had any other glyphs, it would be a completely different gameplay in a way. Search the mud flaps for the entrance to the fetid pool. Done that. Kill all monsters in the fetid pool. Let's do that. So this is like a dungeon. Kill all the monsters. Okay. Bro, what is the deal with this damage? My life is yo-yoing. Oh, arrow quiver. Okay. AoEs are always a good shout in these kind of games because of the nature of them is that there's a lot of enemies on screen. 
Oh, cool. So blue chest plate. Right now I have a white chest plate. Get that blue chest plate. Identify it. It's a strength breastplate, which doesn't really work for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trying to multitask. Oh shit. This guy is elite. Even more elite than elite. He's not blue. He's gold. Yeah, level up. Level six. And I get a robe, some chain boots, and a ring. Yeah, yeah. Kill the Necromancer and his minions. Okay, Hadavrus the Defiler. Little boss. Okay, let's see if there's more to this guy than just like hiding him. What kind of abilities does he have? He is a Necromancer. So, and this guy has a shield. It's good that he doesn't move much. Although my potions are running out. Like, that's it. I need to run away now. Or do I? Maybe I can push through? No, 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 no. That's death right there. Are my flask going to... And I just killed it. him. What did I get for it? I got some boots, some gloves, nothing else I really want. So I still need to kill all the monsters. Oh, there's another- oh shit! Oh, oh my god, look at that! Life just go down. That was really dangerous. I am made out of vapor. No, he hits so hard. Just spamming those potions. I'm out. I'm out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wah! Okay, that was a tough one. Actually, I'm just gonna go to 10. It's fine. It does feel weird that it's like two different menus to sell stuff. So I do like the idea that I can make a nice and magic thanks to this. So my bow is actually just a white normal bow. Maybe if I, I can upgrade it to be a special bow and it did not work. So okay, and equip it, do this there. Yeah, not bad, adds three to seven fire damage. Didn't even see that coming. So I would like a red orb, for example. So if it's only skills, it means I need to put a green skill in here. And then the red and the blue skill will be support skills on top of that. That's what I'm getting out of this. Oh, notice board. Oh, penis is looking for three players. <laughs> so I need to keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. And then uh, as soon as I get a scroll of wisdom, come back potentially. I don't know if attack speed was the best thing to go with actually. Can I refund that? Nope. Okay. So I'm in the fetid pool and I still need to kill more monsters. So let's just hang around here. So, so this is a good example. I am supposed to kill all the monsters and I look at the map and I see no monsters. So I don't know where the last guy is. Maybe here, potentially. Man, they die so fast. Oh, there you go. Zero monsters remain, one monster remain. Okay, that's cool. And just like Diablo 2, the whole place, you get a bit of light, so you know where you're going. So far, so good. These guys are not too bad. Oh, I say that. Hey, oh, okay, cool. An elite with a name, and he applies a dot over time. Just be careful. Keep your wits about you. You'll be fine. Oh my god. For my troubles, I got a rusted spike, which I'm not going to be using. Oh, and there's the last glyph. Because of my lack of map, I don't really remember where I'm supposed to go in terms of... Oh, there it is. Okay. One thing I'll say about the dungeon that I was in a second ago was that it didn't seem like it was generated by the computer in terms of the randomness. It feels like somebody actually made that and thought about the layout. I mean, it was a big circle, right? But it did feel like the environment was quite bespoke just for this dungeon, which I like. Oh, so this was actually part of the main quest. This allows me to go to the submerged passage. Okay, cool. So a bit of environmental questing, which I like. Used to be sick at Sudoku back in the day. And that's level seven. So I'm not actually sure what my quest is here. Talk to Target for a reward. Okay, so it's telling me to go back home, basically. So I'm going to do that. Hey guys, I've done the quest. So I'm not sure if this means I've done a quest or if I have a quest to pick up, which is a shame. Okay, so there's something in that cavern that needs to be killed. The affected enemy will take increased damage from traps and mines until the debuff expires. Eh, I don't like that one. I'll use the ballista. That's kind of fun. And as I do get one crazy reward, the dash. Cool. Didn't quite get that, but let's just put the points in. Ballistics. There we go. I'm already at plus 30% um, projectile speed, which is really good. And then I can just go in any direction, but I feel like whatever direction I take, that it will wildly change the build. Find the Emperor's Road. That's my new quest. So... I'll put my ballista here. The dash, I'll put the dash on my helmet. So now I have a dash and I have a ballista. Why don't we go back and see how well they work together? Okay, so let's try the dash. Q. Yeah, it's a dash. I like it. And middle click gives me a ballista. Let's see how much damage this ballista does. Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh my god. This is great. Oh, there you go. Yeah, have fun with that. These are my ballistas. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Ballista. It's like a shotgun. It's like a portable shotgun. And having three of them is just beautiful. I just love it. Oh, Silver Soul. Here we go. The animation is also very swift for the Ballista. There's more to do here. Also, I'm supposed to find like this, the Dweller of the Deep. A giant crab lurking in the depth. I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm going to find this crab. I want to kill this crab. So it seems like I've done all this. I need to go down a bit more. Southeast. Did I miss the door? I might have missed it. Yeah, it seems like I might have missed it. Okay. Um, all right. So what direction am I going to go in? This is where things get interesting. If I go this way, 
evasion mastery. So it's all about evasion. This way is life mastery. Now this way we have flask mastery, protection mastery. Okay, I'm going to go towards aspect of the eagle, see how that goes. 12% increased damage with bows. Okay, that kind of makes sense, right? Oh, and I did get the refund points. So I get two refunds now for free. Okay, I like that. Good job, game. Let's keep it going. Okay, so I think this is actually, there you go. Look at that. The flooded depth. Oh, nice little water effect there. We haven't seen these monsters before. Oh, hello. Ballista time. I, love, I just love the ballistas. Oh, that's a cool animation. I like that a lot. The crab coming out of the water. Very cool. Oh, and I get to use the potion. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look how fast I'm going. Everybody together. Ballista, ballista, ballista. Oh, the dweller of the deep. There you go. I found him. We got one ballista, two ballista, three ballista. Boom. And I get my scroll of wisdom, which I'm probably going to keep this time around. I'm going back home. So there's a waypoint over there. I'm just going to take the waypoint because I'm a smart boy. Every time I come back here, somebody has got some wild shit going on. The aesthetic of this game so far is fine. So let's see if I can upgrade my ballista to totem with something blue. This is so overwhelming. All this text. Support and skills, throw traps randomly around targeted option. Yeah, I'll take it and I'll put it in here. In here. I don't get my fragment back. That's very fun. Um, Let's go back. Let's get that skill point in first. Oh, there you go. Aspect of the Eagle. Better attack speed with bows. Better accuracy. Damage over time. Increased damage. We're good. Yes, I want to apply it. Awesome. I would have to find like one super powerful enemy and then use the trap. Okay. Oh, what are those? Are these supposed to be glutinous goals? What does that mean? What am I even looking at? What is that? It just looks so weird. Make a friend out of one of them. How useful is that? Averagely useful. Now, when you look at my ballistas, that's something else. <laughs> And that's level nine. Nice one. I prefer the more open regions rather than the tunnels so far. I feel like there's just more space to for activities. One, two, three. Here, have a bit of lore. Why not? Oh, lots of stuff happening here. Whoa. Oh, so every ARPG needs cannibals. That's also the rule. Oh, damn. Seriously, this game catches you off guard. It took half my life away. OK, this is like a boss. Like you have strats and stuff. You got to be careful. Yes. Oh, I'm level 10. Nice. And let's continue with the damage increase. The fact that they just push 15% increased damage, 20%. Like, these are big numbers. Like, I'm two-shotting these guys just with my regular attack, which I would never do. These guys are also hurting me real bad. I've got to be careful. One, two, three. Ballista. Boom, boom, boom. You're all dead. You're dead. Oh, I have a shield. I had no idea. I have a shield. And I have a flag of Lionel. Lion's eye, goddammit. There is no honor without sacrifice. Oh, I forget. I have my traps. I could just put a trap down. Have I made a friend? No. I'm gonna make a friend. There you go. I made a friend. I'm looking forward to seeing something else than the beach. Whoa! Ballistas to the rescue. I need these ballistas to stun. If I could get these ballistas to, su to stun, we're, we're cooking. If you didn't know, back in the medieval days, uh, when they had to torture people and stuff like that, you would be put on a wheel in, th in this form, and then they would break each and every one of your bones, and then they would roll you down the street, and it would hurt a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Nice little facts. Facts with Nyx. Yo! <laughs> this guy's crazy. His design is awesome. I really like that. Leather, there you go. Leather, that's what you need. Bit of leather, strapped leather, even better. So I need to identify this. Okay, I'll take it. And I'll put my, what does it have, a green? There you go, good to go. <laughs> Just rolling down the street. I love it. Okay, so this is the prison. There we go. Okay, I'm happy. We're changing it up now. Moving into a prison, seeing how that is. Okay, I got the waypoint, so I'm gonna go back home real quick. Yeah, there you go, more crazy shit. People with wings and buffs and whatever so there's gems that are connected and that those are that aren't that's kind of interesting so i can take a red one added cold damage supports any skill that hits enemies uh-huh i need a blue actually but support bow attack skills that fire arrow swords this text is so i feel like i'm trying to learn warhammer 40,000 or something these skills will instead fire a payload arrow into the air to land at a target elixir okay can i support skill that already fire arrow in the air so i can put this in caustic arrow and shrapnel ballista what the fuck sell items let me just sell a few things I don't care. I need to purchase something that has two greens. No questions about it. I need green on green, please. Oh, look at that fucking hand. Look how cool that is. If I just take this, put it in there, take this, put it in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I'm obviously missing the rest of the gear, but I like that a lot. So go to the prison, kill Brutus. You got it. I need to try it now. You're no fucking way. No freaking way. Are you telling me that that gem changed how the ballista looks? Ballista firing straight. God, that's so cool. So suddenly my ballista doesn't fire straight, which I don't know how much I like that, but it doesn't fire straight. It instead fires a payload arrow into the air to land at a targeted location. Okay. Okay, let's try it out. I don't know if I like that. 
But it's so cool that that dynamically changed the ballista. That's amazing. Oh, 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 oh. It seems like the range is also higher. It's not like a shotgun anymore. It's like a precision rifle. It's getting a lot more chaotic on the screen. And that's okay. That's a good thing. This design is quite classic, if a little boring. Every game has dungeons that look a bit like this. I wish they would have pushed it a bit further, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Werewolf schools. Having a speed potion on hand that like keeps regening is really good. I love it. It's like mortar fire. It's so fun. You got to be a bit more careful. And that's level 11. Awesome. It's definitely gone up a level. Oh, skill points. Oh, okay. Aspect of the Lynx. 20% increased attack damage. See what I'm talking about? Like these, insane. Movement speed, critical strike damage. Yep, that's awesome. <laughs> like World War Three. I'm getting orbs, which is good. I'm going to be able to use them to buy equipment or upgrade my gear potentially. Oh, and I see that the exit is that way. Oh, the exit was not here. I've been bamboozled. Go back, go back. What's this? What? What's a tattoo? What? No. One, two, three. Did we use that earlier? Okay, okay. I got a bunch of stuff here. That was fun, though. The fact that you can, there's these chests that you can activate. I like that. Cell crawler. I will get a whispering essence of woe. One, two, three. Okay, this, this is crazy. This is crazy now. I don't know. I picked it up and now I can't find it anymore. There it is. I'll take the heavy belts. Some things tells me I'm gonna, oh no, I can wear it. Plus 33 to strength. That's a huge boost. Okay, lots of war going on. So I see blood. Someone's crawled or been pulled around. Oh, there it is. Who's this guy? Wait, that's the woman. No, that's not her. Uh, no idea. There's a lack of enemy here. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> What in the world? Brutus, the famous Brutus. Oh my God, these are saving my skin. Okay, he's not too bad, he's not too bad. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh, I'm out of life. I feel like I've got a good build. Oh, why did you teleport into him? Yeah, there we go. Prefix modifier, Beryl. Suffix modifier of Plunderer. Is this a bit like Diablo 2 when you could put two gems into one thing to create like a new item and the name of the item would become the two gems. So you would put like, can't remember exactly, but it's like roll and pull together and the item would be called roll pull and you'd have a specific amount of attributes. Oh, these all look so cool. And I can't run them. So far, so good though. Follow the Empress Road. Tell me to follow a road. I'm going to follow the road. The hell is going on? Okay, Elite. Wow. I do like the elemental effects. They're really good. Oh my god. They have attributes? There's got to be a whole freaking skill tree about flasks, isn't there? So now I get the choice. Do I want to go further this way or do I want to go further down? I will go back to Lion Eye Watch. I want to get my rewards and I need to sell a bunch of stuff. So might as well. These guys are funny. Sell item. Boom, 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 boom. What is this? Fires an arrow at the target destination. When the arrow lands, you are teleported. When you throw an arrow and then you're teleported to it and a clone is summoned at your old location. The clone is a minion that uses your bone quiver. That is cool. I would like this, please. Thank you. That's complete. Let's keep on keeping on. It seems to require some key. Find another way to the forest. Okay, I must have missed an animation or something, but I need a key. Let's try this arrow thing. Oh, okay. And if I go back a bit, there's another version of me somewhere, right? Look at that. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to get with it. Okay, that's cool. So I can go boom. Jumping goat man, hate it. It's great, it's giving me a lot more ways to traverse the terrain, the environment. I like that. These die very easily. I don't know if I'm getting overpowered or something, but these die really quickly. I do take a lot of damage though, so. Oh, oh, there we go. There's another one. Guarded by three packs of monsters. So I'm gonna have three packs of monsters to contend with though. I'm gonna put my mortar down and then these kind of guys show up. Oh, that was too bad. Thanks to my mortars probably. Oh, that's a shame. There's no point in putting uh, these in your game. The chest being empty is lame. No point. But, oh, wait. I need to concentrate here. Oh my god. Yeah, level 13. Let's go. Okay, I'm kind of teleporting myself into danger, which is not how you're supposed to use this teleport. Oh, there you go. Find an other way to the forest. Okay, the ship graveyard. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Is that skill point? Let's put that in first. So now I'm going for projectiles or swords. So I'm going to go with projectiles. Oh, ghosts. That's new. One, two, three. Oh, I like that they kind of get pulled back into the sky. That's kind of fun. The ship graveyard cave. That seems like a dungeon. I need to evade some stuff. I'm going to die eventually. Okay, so we're back with the blue jellyfish in the tunnel kind of vibes, which is fine. I don't mind. Oh, guarded by three packs of monsters. Get ready. Bye. Yeah. All right. Get some orbs. Keep going for it. And another dead end. Oh, quests. Strangle charm. Is that an elite? Yeah, it is an elite. One, one, two. Come on. Yes. Yes. Slave girl. The all flame emanates a silvern warmth like no other. Investigate the all flame. What does that mean? Travel to the ship graveyard. Okay. 
was there a second ago. And then explore the ship graveyard. I can do that. What's that? Oh, it's some lore. I like that the lore is in the environment. That is cool. We need more of that. Actually, I think I prefer the Diablo 4 method because these are just like, they look cool, these carvings. But when you, so you click on them and then you can't move. Otherwise, the lore leaves. And... For me, I don't mind because I usually stop and listen and write down and stuff. But for other people, I think that's kind of a pain in the ass. It's you're kind of putting an obstacle to for people to learn your lore, which is a shame. There, it doesn't seem connected. Oh, you connect through here. Um, okay. Keep exploring the ship graveyard, I guess. I've completely forgotten to use my teleport. I should use it more often. Okay, um, guarded by three strong packs. Yellow, love it. Let's go. What the time? This, I always pucker up. I mean, this is scary. All right, we're good. We're good. We don't need this. We don't need this. We do need that. I don't know if prefix modifier healthy tier eight. I don't know what any of this means. So I'll just keep playing and hope something explains it. One, two, three. Oh, elites. Level up, baby. Level up 15. Levels are pretty quick. I like that. I mean, so far, I actually don't know what the max level is in Path of Exile. So. And I get some one-handed sword, and I don't know why I got a one-handed sword. I just did. What the hell is that? I swear some players have their own little ecosystem around them. Sure. Okay, so this is where we find out if identifying something gives you more. So five transmutation shards, but if I identify it, I get one orb of augmentation. Augments a magic item with a new random modifier. Actually, that does sound better. I need to sell this, please. Sell the item. Thank you, sir. So I don't really care for anything else then. I never use the teleportation, unfortunately. So I'll just, I'll use the dash, keep the dash in my back pocket. Yeah, that's about it. I have to say I'm not impressed with how I look in this game so far. It's a bit naff. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna finish what I started. I like that the map kind of, if you get somewhat close to your objective, they'll just tell you. They'll be like, it's this way, which I think is really good. They'll give you that like little indication on the right there. That's good, I like that. Treasure chest. Nothing's ever free, I should have known. The lights are quite aggressive. Escape these guys. I am going in the right direction. What in the world? Strange sinkhole of balance. Item quantity plus 10%. Players cannot inflict exposure. Corrupted. What does any of this mean? Oh, these guys are cool. Kind of slower, tankier. Because the monsters, they hit so hard, it's harder to run past them without getting obliterated because as soon as there's like more than three around me, I'm, I feel like I'm in danger. Oh, I like this. This is good vibes. Also, for some reason, the music is going hard. I find it wild that I still haven't found a better bow. Caustic arrow, armor scrap. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this. So we just got Val's Rain of Arrows or Val's Caustic Arrow. Now I remember that this is called Caustic Arrow. So if I put them all together, they look the same, but they're not the same. It looks exactly the same. I don't know what I'm looking at and I'm honestly a bit scared. So I'm going to put it on this, I guess, just, and then put that on Rain of Arrows. Fiery sequence of 18 arrows, that's fine. But then there's this corrupted effect. I'm just reading through it again. Each arrow deals damage in area, but half of the arrows will land directly on target if there are targets in their range. Okay, so I got this new rain of arrows thing. Let's try it out. See. Oh, cool. Just rain of arrows. Nothing special to it. Not enough souls. So I have two now and one is asking me for souls. How do I get souls? Is this some kind of like kill people, get their souls, and then you can use the corrupting effect? Yes, it sure does look that way. Something's climbing. Hey, let's run around. Thank God for the running potion, by the way. It's really good. Oh, okay. Making friends. Oh, what Let's get the ballistas out. Open fire. Oh, oh, oh. I have one. Val, Reign of Arrows. Fire five sequence, 28 arrows. Okay, so this is like a cool ass, dope ass, crazy ass effect, which makes me want to replace this with this. So I just doubled my skills, basically. Um, Sorry. Why? How are they dying? I'm not even... Oh, are they supposed to do that? Okay. Hey, here we go. Right. Okay. So it just keeps... Right. Keeps going. Okay, that's pretty good. And what about my other one? A very slow arrow. Oh, no, 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 no. That is... So so good. This is so good. Oh, I'm bigger. I got bigger. You have increased life, area, zone, and size. I'm a bit freaked out, actually. I'm so big. Oh, someone's got a bit of money. Okay. Ah. But this is a ballista kind of job. So I'm using all my ultimates right now. Okay, I'm running out. I'm running out. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Did I kill her? Not even close. God damn it. I can't die. I cannot die. Can I jump out? Jump out? Jump out? No. Dead. Resurrect at checkpoint. Okay, so there's a check. I can just resurrect at this checkpoint. Why would I ever resurrect at home? Resurrect at home. Let's go back home real quick and then try and get some better stuff. 
So you have like attack gems and you have supporting gems and I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay, let's try and get a life regeneration. Who doesn't like life regeneration? Boom, that's my T now. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell a few things. That's, that's all right with you. Selling these seem cheap to me. I'm a bit afraid of the corrupted side of things, but we'll see. Now I have like this re regeneration thing, so that's good. I could use that as soon as I get in there. Oh, okay, she's still here. Nearly dead, nearly dead, come on. There we go, nice. I'm surprised her health hadn't regenerated. That's a bit weird to me. Wait, is there a second phase? Oh my God, there's a second phase now. <laughs> she's all swampy and she's got tentacles now. I mean, I like tentacles on a woman as much as the next guy, but this is too much. I do have my little aura that's healing me at the same time, which honestly is a lifesaver. Yes, yes. Yeah, I did it. Oh my word, that was, that was intense. I'm gonna have to go through it. A staff, why not a club? I don't, why? There's a diary. This is why she was pissed off, okay. And I'm in the Southern Forest now. I am gonna try and find the city first. Oh yeah, monkeys. I love monkeys. <laughs> yes. Monkeys and beetles, okay, well. And now we have thugs. All right, why not? I'm suddenly taking so much more damage. Okay, this has got to be the forest encampment. Yes, nice one. Okay, so these are the Russian village. The ways of Orioth. I'm guessing Orioth is one of the deities. Also, something that's really good from this game that I've realized is that all these hubs are quite contained. Now, I love big hubs. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the villages in Diablo 4 are actually great. They just are. But this contained hub is so much more helpful because it allows you to just jump from where you need to go real quick, you, you know? No way. And you can fill that up. Oh my God. I love collecting stuff. This is like a hunting village piece. All right, this is going to be the end of me this game. So I've just finished act one with my rogue and tell you my pros and cons for the video and for Path of Exile as a first time player. Overall, my experience is really positive. One of my biggest surprises going in and actually was how well the graphics held up after the game was you know released 10 years ago like that's kind of crazy when i zoom in like that it doesn't look amazing but when you're out and you're in the tunnels and you see the lighting it looks really impressive the story is intriguing I i'm a lore guy so i like to read about the lore and understand the lore i feel like i enjoy the games much more that way maybe even on par with diablo lore it's really impressive the combat was pretty good it's definitely a highlight the two biggest things that i got, got out of this game is the gem system is really good because you put these gems in you get abilities but then you mix and match the gems together and they become completely different abilities like my ballista which completely changed uh, midway through the game that was really really cool and the second thing that i got out of the combat is that the talent tree itself is huge i like the fact that every point you put in feels like a huge difference to the gameplay as soon as you put a point in the game changes a bit suddenly you're doing 20% damage, it's not 2% damage. Um, suddenly you, you walk 5% faster, you run 5% faster. That's really good. You guys let me know in the comments what I missed, obviously. Now, when it comes to stuff I didn't like, um, although the build diversity is really insane, I could have used some form of onboarding to understand where I should start. I think it's good, it's, a, it's really good that it's like do whatever you want, but I was super overwhelmed and I come from ARPGs in the first place, um, so I was ready for something complicated, but I didn't feel like it was complicated, but it was overwhelming. It was like, well, too much, where am I going? I need some kind of help. And the fact that I didn't actually open the help panel doesn't exactly inspire confidence in what I'm saying, because I'm realizing that if I just used the help or something, it would have maybe been a lot better. Uh, something else I didn't like, there's a lack of cinematics, there's a, the voice acting is fine. It's not insane, but it's fine, but I think it would have been better. And this counts for Diablo also, if maybe the camera zoomed in a bit more. Uh, in Diablo, it kind of zooms out and rotates, but I think to get immersed in the story, you need some zooming in. Um, a bit like Baldur's Gate 3 does this really well. Um, of course, there's a lot more cinematic um, things at play there, but some zooming in, some text, it would have been better. I felt like halfway through the game, I felt like I should have gone on YouTube to kind of get a bit of an idea of how to build this character. And I didn't like that. I prefer the idea that I can figure it out by myself, which I did in the end. But the idea that I have to go on YouTube and like kind of break the immersion midway is not great. I don't like to plan my gameplay too much. Otherwise, it just feels like I'm ticking the boxes as I play. The gear was also not great visually and also 
stats wise i felt like the stats on the gear were, weren't as cool as the gems and the talent tree and also the visuals are super underwhelming on the gear now i know this game released in 2013 but i feel like there's a lack of focus in terms of the theme uh, the theme feels a bit all over the place i would have preferred it if it was a bit more focused when it comes to comparing with diablo 4 there's a ridiculous amount of things that i love about this game that diablo 4 doesn't do i think i prefer the vibes of diablo 4 and to be fair it's released like this year it's much more modern but in terms of features this game has got it all i mean so far it's it's amazing i wonder what the pvp is like i wonder what the dungeons are like uh i wonder what the story is like anyway that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today it was a lot of fun. If you want me to continue these kind of videos, you have to tell me in the comments. Uh, and if you want me to cover some lore, potentially, let me know. And if you like this video, please, please, please leave me a like. But in any case, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's hard as a new YouTuber to kind of make it work. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again very soon.